You're watching News 10 ABC at 9 a.m. Welcome back, everyone. Thanks for sticking with us. Well, according to a recent study, there was a rise in ADHD diagnoses during the pandemic, and it's contributed to a shortage in drug use to treat that condition. So here to talk more about this is licensed psychologist Dr. Jamie Forsyth, breaking this issue down for us. Thanks for joining us, Dr. Jamie. Happy to be here. So first of all, what is ADHD? Great question. So ADHD is, uh, it's considered a psychological condition, but we know it's actually very much rooted in bi the biology of an individual. So it has a very wide variety of presentations, which can include uh, issues with uh, sustaining attention, hyperactivity, impulsivity, uh, and these can have major implications across an individual's lifespan. So from issues with school, work, uh, any kind of s sustainable uh, income, I mean, it, it can really affect a, a huge variety of, of, of across the person's lifespan. And we have seen, especially in the past two years since the pandemic, more and more people are getting diagnosed with ADHD up to 14% according to JAMA Psychiatry, which is a large increase. And this happens to both adults and kids as well. Yes. How does it present when it comes to adults? So adults, what we're, we're finding out now is the presentation can be extremely different than what we see in kids. Mm -hmm. So traditionally, what has been thought of as ADHD is uh, the stereotypical hyperactive little boy, right? Uh, but we know that that's very, very, very far from the full picture. picture. Uh, we do have the hyperactive little boys, uh, but what we see a lot of too is daydreamy, uh, inability to focus, in attentiveness. In adults in particular, what we know now is that the presentation of ADHD will morph into adulthood. So that outward sense of restlessness, that hyperactivity, that daydreaminess actually turns more inward. So you're not gonna see an adult, I mean, you can, but it's on the rarer side who is can't stay in their seat. They're, they're jumping up, they're running around. The restlessness gets turned inward and it becomes much more an inability to kind of sit still, fidgety, or this need to be constantly busy. You know, I hear a lot of the uh, adults with the ADHD present saying, well, I just, I can't, I can't just relax. It's not possible. And sometimes that gets missed as, oh, you're avoiding something in your life. You're not completely attending to uh, your, your deepest issues, but it's actually far from the truth. They need to be busy to spend the restlessness, so. And as we're talking about this rise in adults getting diagnosed, I also want to mention that there's been an interesting change here that we've seen. Social media has really grown the awareness of ADHD, especially for women. So more women are getting diagnosed with this. How can that present when it comes to symptoms in women specifically? So the, the women in, in women in particular, what we tend to see more of is uh, uh, the, the daydreamy, the difficulty focusing, or uh, task paralysis. This is one of the things that I see a lot of. Uh, you know, as a, as a woman, a woman in our society, we're expected to take care of a multitude of different things, different hats, you know, the, the mom, the, you know, if you're working, uh, if you're, you know, caretaking, whatever it might be and the tasks become extremely overwhelming. This is not just, oh, you have too much on your plate. This is, uh, I, I don't know where to start. I can't even begin to clean my house because the amount of tasks that I have going on in my mind are just too overwhelming. So uh, we see a lot of overwhelm, a lot of inattentiveness, but also a lot of the, 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 the busy. I can't sit still. You know, I, I know I need to watch and relax and take care of myself, but the second I do, it's so discomforting. I can't I can't move. So before we go to break, Dr. Jamie, I want to talk about there has been a lot of drug shortages when it comes to the ADHD medications. And some people have said, well, people are getting overdiagnosed. Mm. What do you think when it comes to the benefit of looking at yourself and just getting checked? I tell everyone if you even have the slightest suspicion, get checked. ADHD is uh, tr treated very differently than traditional mental health conditions. It is extremely treatable. We have wonderful, wonderful treatments, not just medication, but therapies, coaching, and it can, the implications for untreated ADHD are just devastating. So a lot of people will present with anxiety, but really what we see is ADHD. Dr. Jamie, thank you so much for breaking down this issue for us. Appreciate it. Of course, thank you. It's 9.30, we're gonna be right back with more local news for you.
You're watching News 10 ABC, your local news leader.